Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank here again with Royal Pools and more, and welcome back to our pool equipment pad overview. Today, we're gonna to be going over an in-depth review of the pool pump. Before we get started, as always, if you can hit that like, share, and subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it here at Royal Pools and More. All right, so if you watched the previous video, we went over the whole general equipment pad here. Today, we're gonna go over specifically the pool pump. It should be a really quick video and some maintenance tips, how to start that pump and how things work here. So if we could take a look down here, we have the Hayward Super Pump here. Again, the pump is the heart of the system here. Um, it literally actually makes the water move via the suction side, the, the skimmers and the drains, and it's actually gonna send the water on um, to the filter here. So when we're looking at a swimming pool pump, the main thing is it's literally gotta suck the water in and push it. So there's only one thing that you have to do to maintain this pump, and it's inside the strainer pot here. There's a little basket here. What I'm gonna do is shut this equipment pad off really quickly. So the strainer basket needs to be checked at least once a week. There is a fail safe in here. We don't wanna send anything into the impeller, which is the actual uh, wheel inside there that actually spins the water to actually force it to be sucked into the pump. So what we do is we're gonna check the strainer basket here and we're gonna clean it from solid debris. So I'm gonna shut the equipment pad off, being the pump. We're gonna release some pressure from the filter here. This is very important. This valve here is gonna let air in, dropping the water a little bit. It's gonna drop the water inside here too. And the reason why you wanna do that is so you don't get completely wet. And that's anytime you work on equipment, you're gonna to wanna to shut the equipment pad off and release the pressure here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna loosen the strainer lid here. As you can see here, we have some cottonwoods, a couple bugs. Nothing major, but you wanna get this debris out. We don't want it to getting sucked through the basket into the impeller here, which actually forces the water to be moved. So all you gotta do is take it over your grass here, tap it out, remove the solid debris, put it right back in here. Sometimes you're gonna to have to take a garden hose, get a really thorough rinsing of it. Cottonwoods do get stuck in there. You're not gonna get everything 100%, but it is good practice. You wanna get some uh, mulch, rocks, little pebbles. Um, sometimes you'll get high grass clippings in there. They will get wedged inside that impeller. It's very important to take care of it. These baskets do only go in one way typically, unless it's an older style. Um, and what happens is it blocks the hole from the impeller. So what we're gonna do is close it back up. You're gonna notice the water drops here. It's gonna be okay after the pump is primed. So we, at this point, we can basically close the system back up and go right back to the equipment pad and turn it back on. We're gonna go over a priming process when the pump is completely dry in a second here. But all we're gonna do is close it back up, make sure everything's tight. These are self priming after they are initially primed. Close it back up and then all you do is hit your power button back on. So as the pump is priming back up, we had some air that got caught in the line here, um, which is always normal. This valve that was on the filter here, as the system's off, like we did before, it allows air to come in, dropping the water level so you don't get your feet completely wet here. But as the pump is priming, it also acts as a bleeder line. So as we open this valve, now the pump is on, it's gonna shoot all the air out. And basically you wanna bleed it of air until water comes out like so. Shut it back off, and it works most of the air out of the system. All the additional bubbles after that, if everything is sealed tight, will work their way out naturally through the returns of the system here. So that is basically how you clean your strainer basket and restart your pump. All right guys, so now we're gonna go over how to initially start your pool pump, um, or actually if you have to restart it and it just doesn't, what's called priming up. Uh, priming up is a concept that we use in the pool industry where the water needs to be put into the pump. These are technically self-priming pumps after the initial prime, so after the pump, gets primed up initially with the garden hose or started up initially, you should be able to fire them up fairly easily after the initial startup here. So in case you can't get it primed back up like we just did, what you're gonna wanna do is grab your garden hose here. I have it kinked here, but um, assuming this is either dry or just not pulling the water from the swimming pool, you're gonna release the hose and you're gonna wanna prime the pump with water. 
manually. You're basically gonna fill it up with water, letting it flow into the pipes here. It needs some draw from the pool. We're gonna kind of force feed it the water that it needs. Uh, plumbing underground has um, bridges, hills, or whatever it be, elbows that are restricting it from flowing in here. So we're just gonna help the pump a little bit here and give it some water. You're gonna wanna give it 30 seconds to a minute here. This one isn't too bad. We just had it primed up, so I'm not gonna take that long, but essentially you're gonna to wanna to fill it in here. When you get to a good point, you can actually, if you really want to, you can actually, the water gets kind of high, you can actually close maybe the drains down or even the skimmers, depending on which one's closer. In this case, they're about the same distance, so it's truly not gonna matter. Um, water might overflow out of the top, but that's okay. That's a good sign. So I'm gonna bring it back here. And we're gonna take our lid when we're ready, give it another 10 seconds or so. Make sure you're ready to go. You kind of want to move, move quickly here. You don't really want to walk over the uh, garden hose, turn the spigot off, stuff like that. You just want to set it aside. Put your lid back on. If you had your bleeder valve, make sure it's closed. Go back. Start it back up, and that water that you just put in there is gonna get sucked directly in there, and we're gonna hope it holds a prime here. So what we're looking for is the water to come back up like it did before, and which it just did. We're gonna let it work its way. Same concept here. We're gonna bleed the air out until we start seeing water. There you have it. That's exactly how you wanna prime your pool pump up. That is initial startup or repriming. They, again, they are self-priming pumps, but sometimes you gotta give it a little help. So thanks guys. There you go, the basic overview of a swimming pool pump. We hope to see you guys next time. If you guys can, check out royalpoolsandmore.com, our YouTube page, our Facebook, and all social networks. We'll see you guys next time.